I'm gonna share with you my favorite Christmas recipe. It's a twist on the traditional Christmas cake, but I'm adding a lot of dark chocolate and lashing of orange liquor. So overnight, I've soaked my dry fruit with a lot of orange liqueurs. I went for some lovely dry plum fruit. It will make the finished cake much more exciting. I got some soft unsalted butter. I'm gonna add to it the light muscovado sugar. And to bring some extra darkness, I'm gonna add to it some molasses sugar as well. And I'm gonna start creaming all those three ingredients at full speed till it's light and fluffy. And this is a very important part when you make any cake batter. This really needs to be fluffy and very pale before we add our eggs to it. Okay, so my mixture is ready now. I'm just gonna give it a good scrape to make sure everything is mixed properly. And then I'm gonna add my eggs. So slow speed and one egg at a time. And you wait till the eggs is completely incorporated. The mixture is nice and smooth. Then you can add the second one. And for the last one, so time to add our dry ingredients. So I got um, some plain flour, which I'm gonna sift in. And before I finished all the flour, I'm gonna add to it lovely spices. That's gonna make it so Christmassy. A good teaspoon of the mixed spice and some nutmeg. Your kitchen's gonna smell absolutely amazing. Just sifting them together. And I'm gonna fold the whole lot very gently into the mixture. So my mixture is lovely and glossy. Time now to add the secret ingredient, some lovely dark chocolate was being gently melted on a pan of simmering water. And I'm just gonna add that to my mixture. Again, folding it very gently. And because of the warmness of the chocolate, the mixture is getting even glossier, should I dare to say, even yummier. That's exactly what we're looking for. Smooth, glossy, very chocolatey and all this lovely flavors. I'm gonna add some mixed peel. I've got some roasted walnut half and some hazelnut. So gently fold them inside. And now time for those juicy plum fruit which has been soaked overnight. That goes all inside. And if there's any spare juices, just put them in. Before I mix them, I'm gonna add a little cheeky splash of more liquor to it just because I can and because it's Christmas. Fold it back nicely. Finally, some glassy cherries, slightly chopped. And just to cut through to the sweetness of all this glassy fruit, the juice of a lemon. And here we are. This is the perfect batter. So now we're ready to bake our cake. I've got a tin here who's been double lined, so slightly greased. It's gonna give you a lovely golden color on the outside of your cake. So level the top of your cake with a spatula just to make it nice and even. And this is ready to go in our preheated oven. Get ready for some delicious smell in your kitchen. The cake has been maturing. I'm just gonna unwrap it gently. And before I move it to my cake stand, I'm gonna brush the whole cake with some hot sift apricot jam. This will help to stick the marzipan on the top and at the same time it's gonna make it glossy and stop the side drying. I actually turned the cake upside down so now I got the bottom of the cake on the front facing me so I got a nice flat surface to work with. So I started rolling my marzipan here and I'm gonna use the base of my baking tin to cut a disc of marzipan is gonna fit perfectly on my cake. And the best way to move it on the cake is actually to fold it in two, so you don't stretch it when you move it back, and just place it on your cake, and just put it back like so. Just give it a bit of a rub like this, and I'm gonna do exactly the same, but this time using fondant icing. So again, corn flour on my kitchen top. So exactly like I did with the marzipan, I'm just gonna brush the marzipan lightly with some water. So that's gonna become a little bit of glue. So for my festive decorations, I'm gonna use the trimming of the icing. I'm just gonna knead it together and I'm gonna roll it again, but this time much thinner. This is rolled nice and thin now. Brush the whole layer with a little bit of water. And of course, Christmas, wanna be Christmas with a little bit of glitter. When you cut icing like this, mostly if it's been painted, just dunk your cutter a little bit into the corn flour and just gently cut out those snowflakes. We are fabulous. And just now to finalize the look of our Christmas cake, just gonna tie it up a nice piece of ribbon around the cake. And um, here we are, this is my chocolate Christmas cake. Very glittery, perfect centerpiece 
for the festive season.